Meghan furious at Megxit as Duchess outraged at blame for cutting ties with royal family. Meghan Markle hates the term Megxit which she considers to be unfair as it puts all the blame in her camp, according to a royal expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to step down as senior royals was dubbed Megxit in reference to Britain cutting ties with the European Union through Brexit. Royal expert Dan Wooden claimed Meghan strongly dislikes the term Megxit because it assumes the Duchess should take full responsibility for the decision. Mr. Wooden insisted both Prince Harry and Meghan had equal blame for the controversial decision rather than one or the other. While speaking to royal commentator Lizzie Cundy, Mr. Wooten also revealed Meghan would prefer the term Sussexit. Ms. Cundy insisted the blame for cutting ties with the royal family lay with Meghan and claimed Harry would still be living in the UK if he never met Meghan. Mr. Wooten argued, Prince Harry is a grown man, why blame Meghan, Lizzie Cundy? Why not blame Harry or blame them equally? Someone said the other day that Meghan doesn't even like the term Megxit because it puts all the blame in her camp. In fact, Meghan would prefer it be referred to as Sussexit. Ms. Cundy then argued how she believed Prince Harry's life would be different if he had not met Meghan. Ms. Cundy said, I do believe if Harry had not met Meghan he would still be here in the UK. I think he would want to be here. We know Harry has been upset with the media and we know what happened to his dear mother. I wished and prayed that Meghan was going to be the next Princess Diana but she wasn't. We love the charity work they do, we saw it on the documentary but then we started seeing other stuff. Mr. Wooten snapped back he did not think only Meghan should get the blame for stepping down as royals, rather, both the Duke and Duchess should hold equal responsibility. Ms. Cundy claimed the reason she continues to blame Meghan is she has spoken to Harry's friends who have said he has changed since meeting the Duchess. However, Ms. Cundy did admit she understands that Harry made a decision and ultimately chose to be with his wife and child. Meghan Markle Fury, angry fans turn on Sussex's forcing pair to delete Instagram posts. Meghan Markle has been attacked on Instagram for disrespecting the Queen in a heartbreaking post. Prince Harry teased an upcoming engagement with John Bon Jovi via the couple's shared account Sussex Royal. The post read, coming soon. Hashtag we are Invictus. Disclaimer, this is not a real text conversation. The video included a fake text exchange between him and the legendary rock singer. The mock conversation saw them trying to organize the event, and Harry making several hilarious quips. The Livin' on a Prayer singer and Bon Jovi frontman will appear with Harry to promote the Invictus Games at the Invictus Games Choir visit on February 28. However, the post has since not gone down well with fans who see it as disrespecting the Queen. Users accused the couple of deleting their comments from the post, with one claiming, where are the comments from five days ago? One user said, please leave Canada Meghan, we don't want to have anything to do with you. Another said, love 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 our Queen. She is pure class. Feeling very sorry for her having to put up with tantrums from these now minor royals. Another commented, Meghan, you should go back where you came from. You are not, and never will be, worthy of your titles given to you by Her Majesty the Queen and indeed, even being part of the royal family who have given you so much. You are the embodiment of disrespect, avarice and selfishness. Your so-called charity work is really all about you. The sooner Harry wakes up the better. How dare you insult our Queen who has given her life to service and duty. Another replied, Beatrice and Eugenie have never undertaken duties on behalf of the Queen. You don't have the right to treat the Queen like this. Shame on you. Another critic said, show some compassion and respect for your family Harry. They have supported you through an awful lot. What is wrong with the two of you, bullying your grandmother? The post has garnered almost 4 million views and an impressive 31,000 comments. The couple are currently only following one account called Global Positive News. Prince Harry in UK, is Meghan Markle with Harry in Edinburgh? Where is Meghan? Prince Harry has surprised the public by making an appearance in Scotland on Tuesday night. So is Meghan Markle currently with Harry? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced earlier this year they planned to step back from their senior royal roles. 
Since the Sussexes dropped their bombshell news, they have returned to Canada, where they spent Christmas with son Archie. Prince Harry has returned to the UK for an ecotourism summit in Edinburgh. The Duke was seen stepping off a train at the Waverley station on Tuesday evening. Harry is due to speak at the event at the Edinburgh International Conference Centre, EICC, on Wednesday. The summit will mark one of the Duke of Sussex's last royal engagements before officially stepping down on March 31. It is understood Meghan will not be attending the summit with Harry, and it is not known exactly when she will return to the UK. Harry and Meghan's son Archie is also not expected to make an appearance at the event. However the Duchess of Sussex will be returning to the UK soon to complete her final round of royal engagements before she is no longer considered a senior, working royal. On February 28, Prince Harry is expected to attend a recording session with John Bon Jovi and the Invictus Games Choir. On March 5, Harry will be attending the Endeavour Fund Awards and the Sussexes will have their first joint engagement since quitting their senior royal roles. On March 6 Harry will be attending the official opening of the Silverstone Experience, with racing legend Lewis Hamilton. On March 7, Meghan and Harry will attend the Mountbatten Music Festival at the Royal Albert Hall. On March 8, Meghan will be taking part in International Women's Day tributes. According to reports, the couple will also be attending the annual Commonwealth Service in March on the request of the Queen. For the event. Government representatives will gather at Westminster Abbey on March 9. The event is attended by all members of the royal family, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have attended the event every year. Following their shock announcement, details surrounding the Duke and Duchess' future royal roles are still being ironed out, but some developments have been announced. The couple will officially step down from their senior roles on March 31 and their new positions will be reviewed 12 months later. Under the terms of the couple's exit, the Sussexes will no longer be using their HRH titles. The couple's self-styled brand, Sussex Royal, will also no longer be used by the couple come end of March. The name already lends itself to the Duke and Duchess official website and Instagram account.